Hello, this is Cheryl Wilson, Abstract Artist, and thank you again for joining me on my journey as being an abstract artist. And if you're new here, I share with you a lot of the paintings that I create and share with you the um, many times actual painting from the blank canvas all the way to the finished painting. And then I talk and tell you some of the things that I've done in the painting to create um, the the particular abstract style and this is a 22 by 30 inch paper and I get my paper from Jerry's or I get fine watercolor paper because I want it to be uh, thicker because I put a lot of water on a lot of mine but this was fun it was done with abstract uh, acrylics uh, spray paint graphite uh, using my fingers and um, probably a couple other things but you can see on the right what the painting would look like uh, in a frame and they're just beautiful uh, pieces of abstract that you can have a lot of fun with so without any further chit chat on my end let's get started and I'll show you how I created this uh, painting called The Most Unusual Day. This is a 22 by 30 inch piece of paper. It's a watercolor sheet. It's 140 pounds. This particular sheet and uh, I got a packet from Jerry's Autorama and I will get my paper basically wherever I can get a good uh, buy and um, I will use Canson. Um, I, I will look for 140 pound. I don't necessarily look for cold press or hot press because um, the 140 pound is just fine for me so whether it's cold or hot I'm not a watercolorist. What I'm adding at the bottom there is the black high flow from Golden and I moved, it's already a very fluid paint, but I helped it move with some um, spray. I always have a water bottle <clears throat> next to me to uh, use to spray. And I also have a, always a bottle of um, uh, alcohol either like 72% 99% you know I do different different uh, numbers percentages but what I'm doing you know depends on what I'm doing and I'm adding right there off to the side I have some of the green gold from golden high flow and some white and the beauty of what works for me is when you have your colors and you mix them together so mixing some of the green gold with the carbon black, the two colors together look good together. They, they have components of each other in them so they look nice together. I've added a little bit of the green gold with a little bit more white, um, very slight of a difference. And I'm just working on an underpainting, very loose, very free. And I'm grabbing, um, I'm using the same brush basically on a lot of these. So the spaces in here right now are about the same size and they're square. Over to the right, you'll see the finished painting. And I wanted to put that up there so as I go along, you'll see um, the layer that went be below what the finished painting is that helps, you know, come to the top or helps inform my next layer layer many times um, I'll put something down and it kind of just like okay that I like that let me go this direction and then the finished painting may considerably look look different and that's um, it's just a process of, of uh, playing with the paint and uh, being creative and the biggest thing I try to work myself is to take risks. It seems to be easier on paper, but it doesn't matter. Um, whatever you're, however you're painting, you can paint over. 
in fact, layers and layers really are complementary to each other. So, you know, take take risk, have fun, explore, um, be inspired. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but as I'm going here, um, you can see on the right that that kind of orange gets covered up. Um, while I was doing it, I don't do a lot of orange. If I do orange, it will be a pretty orange painting. The whole the whole painting will have a lot of the orange and the pinks in it. So I ended up covering this up a little bit. But um, I'm just going to paint here and pop in and give you some voiceover when I come up with um, something I want to uh, explain to you. A quick note that I wanted to add is off to the side, if you saw me mixing the uh, gray here that I'm adding, that was a mixture of the black, white, some of the orange, and some of the green gold. So the colors just, they really do look better together. They, <clears throat> they will pick up each other's cools or warms from each other. And that's a trick that I found. When I don't do that, it's almost like a little bit of a, um, a shock of a color that is off a little bit. And sometimes I will do that just to add a, um, a splash of unusualness to the painting. And I'll do that usually at the end where I will splatter a color in without being mixed. And it's, it's, it's just to give a pop. And there again, down at the bottom there, that color is some, my brush is a smaller brush, but it's still a mixture of some of the other colors mixed in together, uh, put on the, the canvas. I wanted to pop in and, and mention that. <laughs> 